first, I want to thank everybody for, for coming on. I know we're in some strange times and have to do things a little bit differently than, than normal, but you know, that's okay. Cause we're Titans and we can adjust. Uh, we have seven spectacular Titans who have accomplished their goal and their dream of uh, playing a, the sport they love, you know, at the next level in college. So I want to first just say, I'm just ex extremely proud of each and every one of you guys. Um, you want to be great ambassadors uh, for, for our sports program. You're going off to some great colleges and universities to showcase your talents um, at a really high level. And as part of our mission for the TP athletic uh, department, you know, we want everybody, every single Titan to strive to be elite. Yeah, guys, everyone, I'm, uh, you know, just really want to say I'm so proud of you. Um, this is exciting. Um, you guys are, you know, I think Mr. Parker captured a lot of it. And I also do wish that we were all together um, to be able to do this. Um, you know, however, uh, like, like Mr. Parker said, we are still Titans. We will, you know, still persevere. And you guys are going to go on and do some great things. And hopefully you'll be back and helping to promote. Um, TC's programs and everything it is that you've accomplished and can't wait to hear more about that. I'm very excited. And uh, to our parents on here, thank you for your support and thank you for being here and attending this. And, and of course, our coaching staff. Um, you guys are our teachers for the kids uh, after school, not, not in regular class, but in a whole lot of other ways and in many life lessons. So a uh, special shout out to our coaches. So thank you. First up, Savannah Kehoe, so softball player. She plays second base and shortstop, um, going to Washington and Jefferson College in Washington, PA. She says her favorite memory is playing hot potato before games and winter workout dance session. During the pandemic, in order for her to stay in shape, she's been weightlifting and running. So congratulations, Savannah. I'm not sure what to say. I'm really excited to play. <laughs> <laughs> I was not prepared for a speech. <laughs> We're really excited to have Savannah playing in college. In my 14 years, she will be the first. Um, oh, wow. We've had a couple that have gone and tried to walk on during fall ball. And unfortunately, haven't made it. But Savannah is our first who will be on the team. We'll be playing probably one of the most tenacious players who's ever played on the TC softball team. Um, and we're really excited to hopefully get out and see her play once she's there and up and running. And we know she's going to do great things. Nathan Kehoe. <laughs> Nathan played baseball for the TC Titans. He was a first baseman and a third baseman. Um, he's going to the Combine Academy Baseball Program in North Carolina, uh, taking a gap year so he can train. And ultimately, his goal is to play Division I or Division II baseball the following year. Favorite memory is walking off against Hayfield in the district semifinals in 2019. And staying in shape during the pandemic, he's doing weightlifting in his basement and walking with friends. Congratulations. I would say thank you to uh, all my coaches and all my friends who are on the Zoom. And it's been a great four years. I know the fifth year hasn't panned out, but I know us seniors have left a foundation for TC to be great for future years and to finally start winning some, some district championships. And I just hope that we can continue baseball. And I know, or I hope that I will be able to rep TC at a big college later on. So thank you. Yeah, I mean, the thing about Nathan, you could really see what he meant to our team. And you look at a few key points from last year. First of all, as a junior, he was district player of the year, which is not that common in baseball. They try to, coaches always want to give it to a senior because that kid's about to be done. And I mean, our district was like, nope, this kid's the best player. And we don't care if he's a junior, he deserves this award. And then in the district championship game, um, we're hanging in there. We're with him. It's close. He gets a pretty devastating injury. And you could just see it. I mean, it, our offense evaporated. Um, we advanced to regionals, played well. But we just – he's the middle of the lineup. I mean, he's the big RBI guy. He's the guy we go to count on for a clutch hit. And the offense just dried up without him. And the team – tried to push through, but I mean, that guy was the leader on the field. So wherever he ends up, I mean, it's, they're going to be getting one hell of a baseball player. Jose Alvarado. I think Jose had to work today, but uh, soccer player. He played center midfielder. He's going to UDC close by. Um, his favorite memory was attending a state tournament in 2019. And he goes for early morning runs in order to stay in shape here in the pandemic. 
Yeah, I was uh, really sad not to get to uh, finish out Jose's career here this year because he's just one of those kids that uh, every coach would love having. We, um, about halfway through his sophomore year, realized I uh, made a mistake uh, leaving him on uh, on JV, and so we pulled him up, and he contributed right away on a really good squad. And then last year was, uh, you know, in the heart of our midfield for one of the best teams we've ever had. So um, that was, you know, he's just a class guy, hard worker, serious kid. You could tell from day one he was going places, and uh, it's great to see him uh, realize his dream. I still have nightmares about that penalty kick, Coach, from last year. Man, <laughs> we got a few in my past that I got nightmares about. All right. Matthew Thailand, soccer player here, center defensive midfielder, going to Concordia University, Montreal. Said his favorite memory was starting his, uh, his first varsity soccer game and making the TC soccer team in eighth grade. And in order for him to stay in shape, he's been following Concordia's men's soccer team intense preseason training regimen. Yeah, he's actually training right now. They have a virtual training session with his uh, college club. They're doing some uh, preseason workouts or something. And I guess they do them as a group on Zoom. So he had to be part of that. But he wanted to say thanks to everybody for, for getting him uh, where he's going. And uh, he actually just had a speech, uh, I think, picked out by, um, I want to say, Senator Warner or something uh, about senior year and what everybody was going through. So he oh, was wow. highlighted recently in one of the ACPS insiders or something. So, um, you know, he's, he speaks French, which is uh, part of the reason I think he wanted to go up to Montreal and um, I think continue uh, his education and playing soccer up there. Uh, great kid, you know, uh, one of those do anything for the team guys and uh, really happy to see him being successful and moving forward. Devin, soccer player and also uh, distance track. Going to Hampton City, Sydney, right here in Virginia. Plays left wing. His favorite memory is the bus rides with his teammates. And Devin has also been following the, the workouts that his coaches have been sending. And I guess he's, he's realizing how different high school soccer is to college soccer. Um, yeah, I just want to thank, like, all my friends and family and, like, coaches who, like, been with me for, like, my entire, like, high school process and stuff. And I'm grateful that I'll not only get to continue, like, my uh, academic opportunities – but also like athletics, playing two sports. So it'll, it'll be an experience to remember like for college. I'm looking forward to. Devin, uh, it turns out, is a, is a superstar in track, I found out last year. So <laughs> he, uh, he was, uh, you know, he played on, again, one of the best teams we've had here last year and was a huge part of that. He, you know, super intelligent player. You know, I knew I could put him on the field in three or four different spots and he'd be able to go out and do it. Um, and do all of them with the same, you know, ability level. He's just a really versatile, talented player. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how he does. It's pretty rare to be a two-sport, um, you know, athlete in college. So that's, that's intense, man. It's going to be a lot of fun for you. And uh, hopefully, uh, you know, you're successful in both. And knowing your work ethic and everything, um, I know he will be. So congrats, Devin. We're proud of you, man. Uh, Mr. Parker, I just want to mention we have two other guys potentially – um, playing who just weren't uh, 100% sure. So Jackson Lewis, um, also a senior, was potentially uh, – he might be going to UDC with Jose um, or also looking to walk on at Howard. Okay. And then uh, Matthew Castillo, I believe, is going to Fredericksburg Community College, but that changed recently due to, um, you know, stuff with the virus. So I'm not sure what his plans are, but we did have two other guys who are probably going to play in college at some point. Mr. Brock, rowing going to the United States Naval Academy. Uh, favorite memory, racing in Tennessee with the boys team senior year. And they've been training every day. I know all the crew kids have, have been training because they've been sending a lot of videos and they're not messing around. Hi, um, so yeah, I just want to give a shout out to my parents, of course, and Coach Pete for bringing me onto the team this year from, I was running on the women's team and switched to the men's team this year to be a coxswain. Um, and so I'm really excited to continue that in college. And also big shout out to Ms. Moran and Mr. Uh, Ballas because they helped me a lot through the process of applying to the academy. And just really excited for the opportunity to earn my commission in the Navy. That's big time. Congratulations going to uh, the Naval Academy. I'm proud of you for that. That's big. You will represent us well. You know, it was, it was really a big move after having you know, a successful career on the, uh, the women's crew team, uh, you know, in the lightweight squad. Um, you know, and then sidelined with a shoulder injury, Felicity came to me and said, Hey, you know, I, uh, you know, I think I, uh, yeah, I know I want to 
uh, Cox and College, and you know, um, I think I've got what it takes to move up to the varsity boat in, in her first year. So we brought her on during our, our fall program, and she took the reins right away, and, and the guys really uh, – just really stuck to her right off, right off the bat. And so walking into the program with, with a ton of racing experience and, and strong leadership, um, you know, it's just unfortunate that the season played out like it did because we had a, a crackerjack team. And I really think that Plissy would have really uh, led these guys all the way to the state championships and beyond again. So super excited for her contributions thus far and also that she'll go and join uh, at least two other uh, alums at, the, at Annapolis. So, there are a lot of TC alums now rowing for the Navy. But Ahmad was on the uh, boys' basketball team this year. Um, he's going to Bard College, and his favorite memory was winning the district championship, and he's been running and putting up shots, but he's out of the country right now, so he could not be with us. Uh, so that is going to conclude our signing day festivities. I appreciate everybody. Once again, congratulations to each and every one of you.